And welcome back into the third hour of Morning Light. You're listening to Winnipeg's Classic 107. My name is Simon Rusnak. As you just heard this weekend, the Esprit Vocal Ensemble welcomes the Ron Paley Quartet in a program of contemporary and jazz standards. Traces of Jazz, a belated 10th anniversary concert, takes place at the Canadian Museum for Human Rights. And to hear more about it, I'm joined by Esprit de Coeur, Artistic Director Valdine Anderson. Welcome back to Classic 107, Valdine. Thanks very much. It's great to be here. Well, it's great to have you. Um, this uh, a concert that has been some years in the making, isn't it, Valdine? Tell us more about that. <laughs> yeah, you know, we were um, planning to do something pre-pandemic. Uh, and, of course, like so many things, it just got postponed. And uh, we're really, really excited that we're finally uh, collaborating with Ron and his quartet. And uh, uh, it's really happening this weekend. It's so. really <laughs> happening uh, this weekend. Now, the Choir Esprit de Coeur founded back in, in 2011, and it's an ensemble that's known for its vibrant sound, imaginative programming. We've, of course, had you on to talk before about some of the wonderful past concerts. Uh, most recently, we heard about your exploration of Medieval and Mod back in December. <laughs> right. I'm wondering, have you ever explored the world of, of, of jazz with the choir? No, you know, um, this is just something that uh, we just thought we had to do, and um, uh, it's a stretch for the choir. Uh, um, we just have to rethink our, our style and, and, you know, the tone as well, and, and loosen up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and loosen up, right? I mean, that's a, that's a big part of it, is yeah. just kind of um, uh, giving way to the music. And I mean, if you're yeah. um, embarking on this exploration for the first time, who better to embark with than uh, none other than, than Ron Paley? When one thinks jazz in Winnipeg, I'm sure it is Ron who comes to mind. What's it been like working with him? He has been fantastic. Um, he has uh, taken some choral arrangements of some real uh, fabulous jazz standards, and uh, he's um, transcribed them for his jazz quartet. And uh, and we're just putting it all together, and it, it's just been really really fun. Um, not only that, um, he's also uh, performing with one of our soloists in the choir, uh, a piece that he wrote himself called Eternal Line. And uh, so that's really uh, lovely to hear uh, one of his own pieces. And he's solo piano on that with uh, Olivia Maxfield, who's one of our sopranos. And uh, together they, they're doing a beautiful job on that. And, uh, um, and we're excited about uh, his quartet also uh, performing on their own as well, a couple of instrumental numbers. Can we talk more about Eternal Line? Because that's a, a work you know well, uh, <laughs> isn't I it? I do, I do indeed. Yeah, I think it was, gosh, it would be 2007. Uh, sometime around around then that uh, I sang it with the Winnipeg Singers and Ron as well. So so was, that was that was really fun and uh, it was really great to revisit it from uh, from a different standpoint and uh, and hear it uh, being performed by Ron and a, and a and another young singer. So great. Yeah, very wonderful indeed. A yeah. uh, setting of, of Shakespeare sonnets, I think. That's right, right three Shakespeare sonnets. Yeah, and the, the words are beautiful. So it's uh, it's lovely to hear that. Now, before we get talking more about the ensemble itself, I'm wondering if you can talk a little bit more um, to to Ron's writing. Um, like, what can people expect from from these arrangements that he's done, taking choral works of, of jazz standards and adapting them for his ensemble, for the choir? Can, can you talk more about what the audience can expect to hear on, on Sunday? Yeah, you know, um, uh, we're doing uh, a real eclectic group, but they're all standards. Um, we've got I'm Old Fashioned from the old movie You Were Never Lovelier, and it's, it's an adorable um, uh, jazz standard. Um, and we're we're uh, taking it a little bit more upbeat, and Ron has uh, certainly adapted that for his his ensemble, and and uh, it's just got a nice feel to it. We're doing Mash Canada, um, mm. the Sergio Mendes mm-hmm. classic, and uh, I mean that's just uh, so fun. And again, Ron has um, I, uh, uh, arranged for it to have a, a percussion solo in the middle, so suddenly we just have a fantastic beat, and um, you know uh, all this fantastic rhythm. It's just so upbeat. And characteristic of the style, so uh, we've got that. We've got Birdland. I mean, mm. That's super cool, and um, we're starting that off actually with um, very weather report ish uh, synthesizer intro uh, by mm. Ron and his quartet, and then we're gonna uh, come back in with the choir. And we've got Heather Kozak. She's a fantastic uh, singer, um, and uh, uh, she's doing the fabulous uh, choral vocals and improv and uh, and wild scatting uh, throughout Birdland, and it's it's just going to be a great great way to end the concert. So yeah, some some familiar tunes certainly, but heard in a, a new way. Yeah. Uh, it certainly sounds like it's it's going to be uh, one to check out. Now I, I'm curious about this ensemble. So this uh, the Esprit Vocal Ensemble, an offshoot of the Esprit de Coeur, more formal choir, right? 
Right. Well, um, you know, we've got about 17 singers out of our usually um, close to 30 members. So um, so this is nice as a small group. And uh, within that small group, we also have a, a, a group of 11 that are doing some, some pieces as well. So, uh, for instance, we've got... Um, um, you know, feeling good, that fabulous song, I guess, uh, brought back to life by Michael Bublé yeah, yeah. and uh, Java Jive, <clears throat> which is always fun to do a cappella. And um, we're also doing um, a wonderful piece by um, a Winnipeg composer, but he's um, he's a Hollywood uh, movie composer, Michael Dana. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know that name, mm-hmm. but uh, but uh, he hails from Winnipeg, and he wrote uh, the most beautiful setting of Tennyson's poem, Now Sleeps the Crimson Petal, oh, for the movie Vanity Fair. So uh, I arranged it for the choir and for solo. We've got Paulina Gonzalez uh, singing singer. the solo on that. Yeah, 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 yeah she's yeah. doing a beautiful job. So, so we've, we're trying to keep it... Uh, do a little bit of our own stuff, and uh, and then let the ch- let the jazz musicians uh, take it away with uh, four standards uh, that were chosen by um, one of our our great supporters and members of our special advisory committee, for Esprit Tanis Richardson, who mm. who uh, had a special sort of playlist that. Uh, uh, she'd given to Ron Paley and said, please just choose four from my <laughs> playlist. So anyway, he's chosen uh, four real standards and, and they'll do those on their own. So Yeah, I mean, it's a wonderful opportunity to not only hear the choir in this new format in the Esprit uh, Vocal Ensemble, but also the Ron Paley Quartet on their own and then coming together, which of course will make for some... Um, very memorable performance and a really um, unique sound. I mean, it's sort of like this this jazz meets classical, and that's something that Ron has done throughout his career. And I've got a, a little number of Rons uh, queued up, but it really seems like just a match made in heaven, you know what I mean? To, to really explore this in, in, in this way by welcoming Ron to, to, to join the uh, Esprit Vocal Ensemble. Well, you know, he makes it very clear that he loves to write for the voice, mm. and uh, and so we're uh, excited to to be part of that. Now, uh, one last thing. This sounds like it's going to be a very casual sort of concert. Is, is that right, Valdine? It's kind of the vibe that you're going for? It is the vibe. And, you know, it's it's uh, not only in the music, um, but it's also in the presentation. Um, <laughs> we've got a uh, great sound man, Joe Duditch. And, oh, and Joe's the... <laughs> great. Yeah, I've worked with him plenty. Joe is just fantastic. I know. And Dan Donahue is also doing the live oh, mix perfect. for us. So, I mean, we're really... What a in... combo. I this know. Is just, I mean, everything is just coming together for this <laughs> Traces of Jazz show. I know, I know. We've got a really, really great uh, support team there. And and uh, and I think the way they've got the choir set up is more in in sections gathered around kind of microphones, kind of like you might have seen on maybe some old variety shows yeah. where you've got a chorus and, and they're you know grouped around a microphone. So hopefully it's gonna gonna look less choiry and a little bit more casual and 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 I think the choir is. You know, as I said, loosening up and yeah. starting to realize that, you know, it's not about watching the conductor. It's really about living with the music and, yeah. and communicating to the audience. So it should be fun. Yeah, being in the moment, yeah. right? And um, if anyone listening would like to be in the moment, we have a, a pair of tickets to give away. And uh, you can call the Classic Line just after I give you the details. <laughs> this Sunday, February 26th, 4 p.m. at the Canadian Museum for Human Rights in the Bueller Hall. Uh, if you would like to check out Traces of Jazz, uh, the Esprit Vocal Ensemble, Ensemble with the Ron Paley Quartet. You can give us a call on the classic line 204 336 1071 if you're free Sunday. Valdine, great seeing you as always. Thanks, Simon, so much.